Right, Ross got the upcoming game against Keith with his Sunday. Uh, we're looking into closing the pre-season now. Are you just looking forward to finishing this off and getting into the regular season? Yeah, it's been a long pre-season, you know, from what, five games? Longer than most pre-seasons you do, normally like three, three, maybe two games. But, you know, it's good to wrap up. We want to end on a high, uh, going at York game, you know, best we can. You know, at Toronto game, we learned a lot of lessons. We uh, want to put it right and just show that we'll be the best team in this league tomorrow, uh, Sunday. Yeah. And then, have you found the experience working with John Keir so far? Uh, it's been good, you know, I've heard positives about him. Or before, and I think what he's come in, he's kept it simple, working on the basics, um, getting his mindset right, making us hard to beat, um, and he's just instilled that um, good attitude and culture in the team. Yeah. And you're an ex Kiefer player, everyone knows it. Um, how much does this game mean to you this this Sunday? Uh, yeah, it means a lot to me, uh, to be honest. You know, two clubs close to my heart. Um, you know, Keith helped me out during the time I needed um, to get my career back on track, and then. You know, after I did well there, signed at Bradford, which is obviously a club I support and I loved. Uh, last time we lost to him last season, I got a lot of stick. <laughs> that I, I haven't lived down yet, so I want to redeem myself for that, you know, put it to bed. So was the best team at Bradford, really. Yeah. And then, it was like you mentioned before, the team has spent quite a, uh, a long period of time with, you know the ins and outs of how they work. What are you expecting from them this weekend? Um, there's the very strong in backs, you know, in, in forwards. I don't think they're as strong as they used to be. That's what Keith is applying himself on. But you know, their back line's very good. I think they've got um, David Dixon at full back, or Richie Orkyard, um, two strong full backs, Andy Gable on one wing. Uh, maybe should have them right at centres. They're going to challenge us that wide. Uh, it might be held. Good kicking game. Um, so I expect to be a tough day for his backs. I think in forwards, I think we've got the pack that can. Um, do the job, you know, we can get a roll on them, we can dominate in that area, but um, yeah, it's that wise, I've got to stay on the metal, that's where, that's where their strengths are. It's coming up against another League One team, um, especially going into this new season for for the team, is this a good benchmark for the Bulls to kind of set themselves at, to kind of compare where they might see themselves going this season? Yeah, it'd be a massive benchmark, you know, I, I'm feeling like, you know, you get them nerves like it's going to be a big game, because obviously, beat Sheffield, beat Halifax, um, and then we lost to Toronto and everybody were questioning us, but I think with what Toronto done to Lee, we can hold his heads up high. We, we, we did show in, in patches that we were good. Um, Keith Lee are always going to be a League One team, we're going to be there or thereabouts. You know, they're always in top four, top five playoff positions. Uh, so it's going to be massive. I think if, if we put a big performance in against Keith Lee, you know, put them in bed early on, you know, remove any doubts what people had about us, thinking whether we're not good enough or, or we can't score points because with the half-pack combination, I think with Keith coming back, Get some points on board, build some confidence against Keithley, and then you know it'll help us massively for York. You referred to them before, quite a, a team that you know quite a lot in depth. Um, how do you see them faring off this season? Uh, I think with Craig Lingard, you know, I don't know much about him as a as a coach, but you know, it's a lot of lads that were there when I was there. All the lads I played against are, are all there. They've, they've got a good young team. They've, they've got a good squad. They've got a good fan base. You know, um, Cougar Park. They're always going to be hard to beat, but it's how they travel. It's how they do on the road, really. And, um, you know, it seemed last season they lost concentration going away to places. Um, but they're always going to be a tough side to beat. They're always going to be a tough team to play against. You know, I, I just want to get wins so, you know, we can prove once and for all those better team. You know. <laughs>